Alright guys, so I fixed the camera angle, and this looks good, so now you'll be able to see what I'm doing and step-by-step -step process of making this bait. So, as you can see, we have this old swim bait, if you will. Um, it's definitely seen better days and better colors for sure, so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a makeover. And, yeah, so first step is I've got some old line on here, so what I'm going to want to do is pull that off. Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you guys that you'll be needing is painter's tape. You can use masking tape too, or duct tape, but it's just easier to use painter's tape. It falls off a lot better. Um, some of this, like, scrubby material, as my family calls it, like a loofah, a lufa, works great to make scales. So, what we're going to do is you have to take... Oh, this bait's different. It's got... Alright. So, how do they get it on my question. So what you're going to want to do is snip these hooks off. Pull them out like that first. And I like to, after I repaint a bait, I like to put new hooks on it. Or I paint the old ones, but in this case I'll just buy new ones. And you have, it's a lot easier with swivels on them, so. So now, just gotta snip them off like so. Sorry if I was going out of the camera angle there. So twist them out like so. Yeah, see, they're very old hooks. They're just breaking off kind of. Get right up next to there. Boom! They're off. Now that's pretty slick, guys. Can. There. So now we have that step of the process done. What you're going to do is you're going to take some mask or mask your masking tape, painter's tape, or duct tape, and you're going to put it over the metal here and make sure it's covered because you want to cover everything in masking tape that you don't want that you that you don't want painted. So when you get that far, I'm going to paint that because, well, actually, I could take that off. Sorry, right, I'll just do this. So, we're this far, and now the next step is going to be to paint it. And lately what I've been doing is switching between the black and white. So, I think that's what we're going to be doing today. First step is, you're going to want to turn on your airbrush. So now that my airbrush is running, you want to make sure it's clean. Make sure that the airflow is good. If you need to clean it out, clean it out. So if you can see the mess there, that's cleaner. I'm going to run it through to make sure I have a good stream. And, <coughs> oh, airbrush cleaner is not friendly. <coughs> So, I like the Wicked Colors by Createx. I've been using them a lot. And I've really, really found that I like them. So, I think we're going to start off with black. Or are we going lighter? Black will cover this bait a lot better, so we're going to do black. And what I found out is a lot, or a little is a lot in Airbrush World. So, I do like two drops. Three to cover the whole bait. So right there, we're doing that. I like to use my clamp, take my clamp, and if I don't have to get full of paint, it's always nice. So what you're gonna do is test it out. So how a gravity fed airbrush works is if you push down, the paint won't come out, that's the air. And then you slowly go back and that's the paint. So how, how far you pull back, that's how much paint. So here we go, I'm just gonna cover it. And paint in light. Light for a first coat. Don't go crazy. Just light. Like so. 
cover the bottom up. One reason I'm doing black is if, if you guys can see all this orange here. Okay, the bottom got a little messy. Let's dry it. A big thing too is if you dry it, it's going to stick better. And then you can put your second coat on instead of just making it so you won't get anything on there. So once it seems pretty dry, you don't need to like do it for a super long time. You just need to get it so it'll stay on there. And then go ahead and do your second coat. The nice thing about these baits that have their eyes already in them, you can paint on the eyes. So we get that. We're going to dry it. Just until you can see the, the black. So that's where we are, guys. Now we're going to go darker yet. So on the bottom, light coats to cover. And we're out of paint. So, a lot's a little. Three drops. The Wicked Paint is definitely worth it, what I found out. It's like a dollar more than the regular Create Text, and you don't have to thin it out all the time. So it's very helpful. Highly recommend Gravity Fed Airbrushes, guys. These make the world of a difference. So just going to lightly cover those holes that I had there. Once we cover them, dry it. This will be a, little, a bit of a longer video because making bait takes a while. So as you can see, we're getting it covered. Next, we're going to move to the other side, do the same thing. Cover all of your parts, lightly. Like so, dry it. Drying helps get the paint, so you can do another layer again, and now it'll stay better. I don't have any clear coat today, so I will not be clear coating it, but I will be doing that in a separate video. That's what makes me shiny. Okay, so I'm going to Good. So now that that section is done, we're going to move on to the next se next section. As you can see here, it's black, the whole body. So we have that. So that's looking good. So next thing is we're going to move on to the next section. Make sure you get in between all of those cracks. Make sure you get in all the eye holes. best thing to do when painting a bait is get all of the colors that you're going to need in one so you don't have to keep switching and switching. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while, just been hectic. It's 
spade is gonna look like it was uh, brand new when we're done. Out of paint. My dryer unplugged. Sorry, guys. One second. All right, that was the issue. All right, let's dry. As you guys can see, it's black all the way around. Now I'm thinking for a, a unique pattern this time. I'm gonna do a white under. Oh, I'll do. A, what do I have here? I'm gonna do a red underbelly, and then. Silver middle section and then white scales and black on top. Yeah, I like that color scheme. So we're going red. It's like a silver metallic pearlized color. And then we have our white for scales. And you guys, my favorite thing to do here is to go lighter. Some people go darker. I don't know. But Shoot through the airbrush. Some cleaner. <laughs> you go through a lot of cleaner quick, so get at least two bottles of cleaner. It's especially important when you just start that you get cleaner too and clean it every single time. If you don't know how thick your paint is supposed to be, I usually clean, run a little bit of cleaner through every time I switch paints. It's the best thing to keep your airbrush nice. So that's what I've been doing. So we're going to start with our red first. Make sure all of your black is out. Then we'll go over to the red. Two drops. Shake it up. Always shake your paints. Very important. That was a little stringy, but it'll be fine. And we're shooting nice. You guys can see that color. Always check your paint. So we're going to start in the first underbelly. So light. Make sure you cover everywhere in the underbelly. If you want to really do try hard, I'm not going to even try that, but make sure you get everywhere with your paint. Okay, and then dry. So I like to do two or three coats, just to brighten it up. I'm going to go under the eyes a little bit, see that?
I like to use a lot of red on the bottom of my baits like uh, normal fish. Dot com makes an awesome paint for that, but I'm just using the Wicked by Createx because it's the dot com stuff usually you put like two drops in and it'll last for three seconds, so I don't like to use it a lot. But I really like the Wicked colors. So we're gonna do one more time. Just to really brighten it up. Make sure you get all of your parts. Get all the under gills if you have gills. Like so. And you'll start to layer a little bit. So just do a little shadowing there to blend. On your bait, like so. And then what I like to do is I'll take, if you guys can see, and what I like to do is take, every time I'm switching paints, if I have leftover paint, I just like to take a little paper towel, run it through. Like so. Just to make sure that before I run cleaner through, I'm not going to have to run a lot of cleaner through it. Just get what I need out. Run all your excess paint through. Go a cleaner it, shoot it. There we go, now it's shooting. So, we have all that through, now we're going to go and do our silver, and now the silver is going to run all the way up. I'm going to paint the rest of the bait with silver, two or three drops. I don't like to fill my cup up all the way, unless I have to, just, I feel like it's unnecessary. So, test the paint, make sure it's coming out the right way. Don't have any red in it. Still shooting red. And see, there we go, right at the end. Three, two drops. So, alright, it's shooting the color we want. We're just gonna go in. I'm gonna start up here. It's still shooting pink, so we're going to add a little bit more of that in. Heat set it. Set that. The top doesn't as much matter how pretty it is because it's going to be covered up later, anyways. But
just want to make sure that you're getting that blend well. It's a little cold out. Go to the other side, drop a couple more drops in. Maybe you want a little bit underneath, like so. You can see that. We're going to wipe out all the rest of our sparkles. Uh, well, I'm, I put in a little too much. There we go. Okay, so while I was doing that, I just want to tell you a little bit about this airbrush. This is the Neo Iwata CN airbrush. I was watching a lot of videos and a lot of different things, and a lot of the bait makers had the Iwata brand. Now, they run a lot of the HPCSs. Um, this is a mediocre airbrush. Uh, it's it's not a starter airbrush, but if you want if you're starting and you want something to last a long time, I bought it because it had the air compressor and it's what a lot of the guys use and I really like it. It's by far my favorite, so I really like this uh, this airbrush. So the next thing is we're gonna add the white in, two or three drops. That's gonna be plenty just to start. <coughs> So then what you're going to do is you're going to take, uh, I should heat set this just in case. So after that, you're going to take this uh, material here, your loofah material, get any tape out of there, take it, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your clamp, hold it like that. Now that you're spraying white, kind of go over it. And what this does is it's going to create scales. Go to the other side. Take it, heat set it. It creates scales just like so so with that now we're going to move to our black Couple drops of cleaner. 
this is a good shag color. Um, so, yeah. Turn that off for a second so I don't ruin it. Do two drops of black. I'm gonna spray it at a lower speed because I'm I don't want it to I don't wanna I wanna cover too much, but then I wanna cover a lot, so here we go. Always test your paint, I messed up. I'll wipe that off. Now it will smudge, so you have to be careful. But since I'm spraying it's okay. Take it slow, you don't have to go fast. Heat set that. Heat set it. Fan, just do your fin. This is where all the detail work comes in. And that's it. This that was this bait's transformation. So I'll be posting a picture of this on Instagram too, guys. More bait videos to come. This is just one of many. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.